Hello everyone, Adish here. Welcome to Adish Model Trains. So today we will see how we can calibrate a uh, servo motor for throwing up turnout and closing up turnout. So we have to adjust its throw up position and closing position with the servo arms. So first thing what we have to do, we have to see how we can configure the servo with PCA 9685. So here in the image you can see we have to just take SCA and STA and SCL line from an Andrino which is serial clock line and serial data line to PCA9685 to its SDA and SCL line and we have to take plus 5 volt and GND from Andrino to board PCA9685 board and we have to provide 5 volt power external power supply to the P board P PCA9685 board and on the side uh, we have uh, two screws where we can just provide VC V plus will be positive 5, 5 volt and GND will be the ground of the external power supply so here in the here I have done already the setup where you can see we have a external power supply here and this power supply is going to the side of the PC9685 board and then here we can see we have 5 volt plus GMD is going to the board as well as SD and SCL line going back from here to the board and we have servo mounted on the zero position of the board here so that's how we can do the calibration so if we see i have a sketch here with me i'll open the sketch so here in the sketch you can see here in the sketch we have i just make it because yep in the sketch we have see we have a servo frequency set up to 50 hertz servo number is zero it's a position of the servo motor mounted on the board pc9685 board at zero position and here we have provided the address of the board so the middle position for the servo will be 1500 so what we have to do we have to just run this we have to just run this sketch so i'm just compiling it and i'm trying to run this so you we can hear that servo motor has moved a little bit and in the console of this you can see it's moved to the center point so what now we know that servo has moved to the center point so what we can do we can just put the arm on the servo motor here So now we have put the arm on the servo motor. This is the arm we have added to servo motor now. Slightly it's a little bit misaligned in this. We have to make sure it's added to the center point. But after mounting also we have seen that it's little bit tilt so first thing what we will do we will make sure that because every motor has a different center point so first we have to move this to the exact position so what we have to do we will just say 50 plus so it will start rotating little bit so it's like 1500 so i guess we have to go back so i'll say 100 plus so it's moving this side so we have to move opposite side so what we'll do 150 minus and it will 50 more we have to do minus so now also i guess 50 more so i guess now it's a straight so this servo motor particularly on 1400 this will be the center so now we have to note down that 1400 will be the center point for this motor 
and what we can do for throw and close we have we can just adjust it like i'll say 200 minus it is again 50 minus it's 1150 i guess 50 more minus i'll say so we have 1100 1400 is a center point 50. 1100 is a one point and we'll say again plus 300 so 300 plus we have to do so it will come to center so we know 1100 1400 is a center point 1100 is a one point and we will say 300 plus i guess one more 100 plus so I guess 50 plus more is one more 50 on this so we know that 1900 1400 is a center point 1900 is throw we can set for 1900 throw and 1100 for closing so what we can do we can just with the small wire from this this these holes we can mount up the turnouts and we can do throw and close uh, with the help of these calibration numbers what we have achieved from this sketch so in all the APIs this sketch will be available going forward so we have to just execute this one and we have to set it according to our turnout up to what level we want the turnout to be throw or close so that's how the calibration sketch will work hope this will helpful for you while using apis guys so when we are trying to test it with actual uh, turnout that's how if you see here clearly there's a gap and it's on it's not on the center position so we'll just use our sketch we'll just deploy it once more and we'll see the it's on the center position according to servo but for us it should be 100 minus on 1500 so now we can see it's exactly on the middle position but here we can see it's more tilted towards closing the turnout but it's very loose so what we'll do we'll just make it 100 minus so at 300 still it's not tight so 100 more minus so I guess now it's completely tight it's not moving it yep. so we got one position which is 1200 and now we have to move to the center position we'll say plus 200 so it's in center position now we got our closing position is 1200 and we'll for throwing position if we see throwing position will once more will say 200 plus so now it's like slows little bit so we'll say 50 plus It's not moving up, so we got our new positions here. You see the desktop, we got our position 1200 and 1650. 1200 for closing and 1650 for opening, and these are the two values which we have to record it. So now, if you see, it's tightly, nicely, so there's no chances of delay, derailment. So this is how we can do the calibration, use the calibration sketch with actual turnout 
for the servo motor hope this will help you to understand the configuration as well as how we can use the calibration sketch for APIs because we have to do this calibration for each and every servo motor which is used for automation of turnouts.